Hello everyone and welcome back to The Long Dark. I'm Chili Mango and we are playing Interloper. So we had a very eventful last episode. We're going to carry on now at Mystery Lake and we're going to be looting the camp office. So let's play. Very nice. So yes, it was very eventful. My last episode. Nice skillet. Nice cooking oil. How do you want to start a fire with this flare? So we'll just have a quick look around. And then we'll get upstairs and start the fire. So yes, it was very eventful. I um, accidentally aimed at a wolf. I was trying to uh, distract him with my rock, but he turned around and I mistimed it and ended up triggering him running at me. Triggered attack, so yes, it wasn't great. However, we did bop him on the head, so I'm very happy about that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get this fire going with this flare before it runs out. We're going to get some water cooking. Let's boil this water up. Get that going. Right. And while that's going, we'll just have a little loot around. a light just so we can see a little bit better. Nice. So yes, it was very eventful. But I thoroughly enjoyed the last episode, I think. Could the end book. up being useful. Already got him. So let's just double check down here. Is that a potato? It is a potato. I can hear the fire from down here bubbling. We did all of this, didn't we? Oh, yes! Look at it! What have we here? Maglens. Perfect. So happy about that. So now we can start making fires when it's sunny weather and stop using our matches. That's a brilliant find. Now, oh, very happy about that. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. Ah, oh, chuffed about that. I'm glad I saw it. Some more. Paint. So, can't see anything else, and I've been here. Brilliant. Oh. So now we can worry less about, you know, getting water and using matches and things like that. A lot of water going. Very good. Nice. So next is a bed roll. It's the next important thing that we need. see any salt around here. Another potato. Time's it. So 
so it's not even midday yet, so I think let's try and get some food down us and go for a little wander around here. Not too far. use my coal. I might drop that here actually. Got a lot of books. Okay. So let's um, put some of this stuff down here. Like these excess books. We'll obviously keep them and use them so we're not too heavy. So that I'm doing at the moment. Not done that one. Not done that one. Not done that one. I can barely walk with this much gear. So let's have a look through this backpack. Put it in order. So we've got quite a bit of cloth. So I'm just going to drop my cloth in this corner. That we can drop. Oh no, I wanted to keep that for food, didn't I? That we can. Try that again. That we can drop. Still got a rabbit. Just get all this organised just so we can see it while our water cooking. Drop these. So they can start curing. And what else can we drop? Let's drop these. We don't need all of the sewing kits. Got a nice little bit of rabbit. Drop them. You need to make a fire cupboard, but we'll come back to that soon. Right, so we still overweight by two. So this is kind of where I usually leave all of my crafting things, like my feathers. Put that in there. Put that in there. Is there things that you can use for arrows? I mean, we are getting there. We do need to focus on getting that rabbit cooked. So, rabbit. Where are you? make any food so we can make those but mm. getting kind of thirsty we might just need to look this rabbit that rabbit. Have a drink. And then we'll uh, think about going... No, I did it again. Seriously. 
let's see if we can start a fire outside. Please be sunny. Yes. Right, so let's make a fire using a mag lens. So mag lens, stick, yes. See, now every time I accidentally let a fire go out, at least it's not as painful. Come on. And I can relight it without using a match. Alright. And that's how you start a fire with a mag lens. Let's try this again, shall we? So we're going to start this fire with my torch. And that's how you start a fire without using a match. When you accidentally let yours Come go out. I'm not sure I can carry much more. You good mate, don't worry about it. See, I'm actually checking the time now. I think I'm going to see if I can chain this. Keep this going as long as we can. So I'm just going to keep nearby. There is a key further down here that I'm just going to check out. You know, while it's still light. Pick up these sticks as well as we're going. Lovely day. So, as you can see, we're just heading up this lake trail, and there is a cave I further if I down can drop here. Drop any of this gear. sticks at the moment so we do need to keep an eye on that. Pick up those that we see. We shouldn't be too far off now. I think it's to the right here. Yes, well, it's just this way. And we do have the cabins that are on the lake as well that we need to have a little loot at. I do use this cave as well um, if I'm trying to 
get any feats like uh, keeping the fire going for three days or I'm having a big cooking session if you've hunted a moose or a bear. I do tend to use this cave quite a lot. Dave. Search his back. Nope, nothing. Nothing. Yeah, I just like that cave because I just feel like any wind or anything, you know, you are surrounded, aren't you, by these cliffs. So it's just a good place to go. I think I'll pick up this torch again. We'll break that down, but I might head right and just check out these cabins. And obviously the fish fishing huts as well. To the right. So down this entrance it should make your way to the other side of the lake. There's usually a few deer here as well. Yeah, I think we'll just make our way around, check out the fishing huts as we're going, hopefully keep this torch going, we may need to light a new one, get a few more torches, keep us safe from wolves, just loot around here, can't see any cattails. I do know that sometimes a bear spawns at the far side of this lake. So you do need to watch out for him. Know, where's the front door? Some food, always helpful. That'll come oh, handy. Thermals. Very nice. Let's get those on, shall we? Check under here. Can't see anything. Nearly missed that making gunpowder. Oh no, that's not an entrance. I need to find food. Crunchy stuff.
the look so far in this one. Lamp fuel. We can use this. Yep, we can. Using that torch, and then we'll get a few more and carry on. That's done. Just get rid of that. Got a few more sticks. Good one. A few more, and then we'll get one. Okay, oh, no, he's still going. We'll leave you. Weather looks like it's turning a little bit. So uh, we're memento outside. Now this I could is use a fire this. log, very heavy. It burns for a very long time. behind. Let's carry on to this other cabin just over here and then we'll start checking out these fishing huts. It's getting close to night time so we'll think about having a big sleep and get our health back. While the weather's okay, I might just check out these two fishing huts and then I might sleep in that cabin there to our right. So in kits. Let's grab metal. We'll just pick up everything. Because we'll take it back to the camp office. So yeah, we'll sleep in that hut tonight. Be careful, I don't see any bears, but you never know. I've never seen a sleeping bear. I know that they can do that, but I've never seen one. something to eat. So where is the cave? Is that the cave in front? In we go. 
hope nobody needs this anymore. Second can. Got loads. Just what I need. Nuts and stuff. Nuts. <gasps> A hammer. Yes. Now we can start making some things. I can make my bow. I can make an axe. Hatchet. A knife. Brilliant. That's great. So, feel like we're getting there on this run now. Because even if I don't end up finding a bedroll, if I can kill a couple of bears, make the bear bedroll nice, warm, and cozy, then we can start making our way up to like Timberwolf and Ash Canyon. So, that's brilliant. So yeah, chuffed about that. So with that hammer, you need to go to a forge, take some coal, and that's how you start creating. Pause. One second. That's how you start creating those weapons and those tools that help you on with the later game. I feel like Mystery Lake has done quite well for us and has been kind. try it. Get back, get home. As you can tell, quite changeable with what I think I'm going to do. Very happy with finding the hammer, the maglens and some thermal underwear. So I would think now the best course of action will be to carry on looting here and then make our way to full on muskeg. Get a load of coal and start making some arrows as soon as our sapling secured. So I can see a load of wind starting. So I'm just going to make a guess. I think it's this way. Well, I know it's this direction. Be awful now if we run into a bear. our goodies we just found and then we're gonna sleep <sighs> let's just eat him we're gonna read get this book finished finish it finish finish So let's eat.
Something's making me feel tired. Drink herbal tea, because this will help us with our sleep. Finish off with that. Ten hours. Aurora? Well, we should be pretty healed by now, I think. Yeah, that's good. All I can think about is food. Let's have a little look outside. carry on sleeping. Be daytime and then we can get back. So we are walking into the wind now. So we might just be a little slow. I don't think we could use a mag lens now. Oh, we're on icy one miles anyway. Let's just get ourselves back home. So we could go through the way we came and try to avoid the wolves all together. Thank goodness. Made it through another night. Cold is making my head feel thick. Seems like whatever direction we go, we're running into the wind. So yeah, I think we're just going to go this way, the way that we came in, and just get back to our base. And then we'll head over to Trappers, 
we'll go up, have a look at the lookouts, maybe circle back round to the dam, take a look at that, and then hopefully by which time our saplings might be cured, or nearly there, and then we can start thinking about heading up to the forge. Yeah, so I feel like the game really does start when you get, you know, your weapon sorted. You can actually start hunting things, start getting quite a lot of meat. Start piling it, getting water, other such things. Maybe plan, start planning for the long, long haul. as we can. So when you have blizzards as well, which we had when we were on the lake, that does help to respawn sticks. So if you've picked them up, you can have a little look again after a blizzard and you should find some more. heading up there top finger soon stuff shall we <sighs> saplings are curing nicely so let's just drop these things Harvest this, and then I think we might go over to Trapper's and see what's there. Put this up here for now. Too heavy. A nice potato. Nice. So let's drink one of these. Get our calories up. Let's have a look at our weight. So we are under, but not by a lot. I think I'm just going to put these things in here for now. In there. Put that in there. Put them in there. There you go. We'll just do that for now. We'll come back to that and pick up. So let's go. Can't feel my feet. 
so we will be a little bit wary because it is cold and we are not full of we're not full on health yet some nice twigs to keep us warm die if i don't warm up soon Probably should have waited until we warmed up all the way. But I think we're just a bit too excited to have found that hammer. <laughs> so there is a little burnt out building over there that has a stove, but we'll come back to that. Sprint a little bit, try and reduce the amount of time we're outside with it being so chilly. Over at Trappers, you do have the possibility of getting a bear spawn and a moose spawn. So we just need to, when we get past, I think it's Max's last stand, we'll just take it easy. Be a bit cautious and see if there's anything around there. So there's a wolf there. There's the bear. So I think we'll go this way and just be careful of that wolf. So that's good to know though that there's a bear spawn there. the wolf. Nope. He's not got us. So there we are. There's trappers. And the bear should just be walking around that corner. There he is. There is some rabbits as well over there. Take a look in here. Oh, nothing search this backpack nothing but we will take that wood so I can't see any moose markers but over there is where a moose can spawn let's just get in here and warm up we go. I might have to drop some gear. Oh, some I broth. Need more of that. And it's acceptable. Dog food. Excellent. Soda. Tomato soup. We've got this that will open in a second. So Hope nobody can. needs this anymore. Very nice. So let's just a note left behind. 
Let's just get our lantern out just so we can see properly. Make sure we're not missing anything. Bandage. That'll come in handy. Nearly missed that. Nothing. Right, let's check this now. So I think that was twenty. Twenty one. Near each other. Twenty-one, eighteen. Just go a bit slower now. Oh, so close. Thirty-five, I think that was. Nice. <laughs> Someone's stash. Cash. Work boots. Let's have a look at them. Don't know what the cash is going to do for us. Better. Let's take them. Drop this other stuff as well. Nice, right. I think I'm going to sleep one hour. Warm up. So what I think we're going to do is head down here, keeping our left side towards this wall. We're going to get to the pond, which is further around here. I would like to make my way the lookout point so I think we will go to the icy pond see if there's any cattails and then head over to that lookout point And then what I think we'll do is we'll make crafting a bow priority just so we can start getting food because we have used a lot of food that's started around. So we will be running out soon so I just need to be careful of that. And of course start thinking about fishing. See a sapling? itself <laughs> right let's get this nice keep an eye out for more saplings as well um we mustn't forget that we do have quite a few in pleasant valley that we left behind by accident. day we're on actually. I haven't noticed or I haven't been keeping track of what it says. We 
we must be close to 10 days. Which will be a new personal record, I think. So we've reached the pond. Oh, there's a bear. Hello, Mr. Bear. I don't think they can um, get you on chewing these hunter blinds. This stuff will come in handy. Nice. A lot of wet stuff. So I think we're just going to follow this river up. All I can think about is food. And then we should, if I'm correct, be pretty near the lookout. Still need to look into what to do with that burdock. I'm sure it'll be a drink of some sort, maybe like a coffee or something that you can make. So that looks like a road. Is that the abandoned one? Possibly. Wonder if you can get up a bit this way. Looks a bit too steep that. Cold is making my head feel thick. Yeah, it's too uh, steep that. I don't think I'll be able to get up there. I think the entrance to that is at the other side, I think. It's midday. We'll start warming up soon. Maybe we can get up here. to know. Hmm. Oh. Let's head up. And that'll be good because we can get our bearings, see where we are in the world. There's a key up here as well. Yeah, there it is. Key! It's what we like to see. Put 
this down just for future, whenever we needed to use it. Took a little bit of damage there, but not too bad. Excuse me. anything else up here. Damn. Freezing. So, I need to go over there. No. I'm gonna see if we could just warm ourselves up. So, yeah, we'll get to this little lookout point up here. Warm up a little bit. Because we are a bit cold. So cold. Just want to lay down for a bit. To make sure we don't come across any I'm wolves. So cold, I'm warming up again. Die if I don't get some food soon. You're fine, don't worry. We're gonna get nice and cozy soon. warming up. Come on, it's not that windy. So yeah, we've just come from over there. We're making our way up here. Oh, I can hear some ptarmigans. Too cold to think. Should we see if we can get one? Yeah, we can do fire, can't we? Let's see if I can get one of these. And then we'll get a fire. Oh. oh. Never mind. We're going to start a fire here. Actually, let's see if we can start a fire up there. Let's see if we go with the Macklins. See if we can start one. I've never felt so cold in my life. There you go. And then we can get all nice and toasty up in here. Come on, little fire. Come on, come on. <laughs> Huh. 
Let's try that again. Got this. Well, thank goodness for that. Take that upstairs. And now we've got to use a torch. Let's hope that it's not windy. Fire number three. So yeah, that's just a good way of making sure you've got a fire without actually using a match. And again. So we are quite low on health. So I think we'll end up sleeping here once I can get this working. Come on. Come on. Come on. And there you go. Make some mortar, we might as well. Some Thank chips, some peaches, I could use sewing this. book, bandage. And, uh, yeah. So we're pretty safe in here. Say we do need to have a big sleep, get some of that health back. Let's eat a little bit and drink. Let's try not to do the mistakes of my last episode where I don't check it and it goes yeah, out. Right, so I'm just gonna leave some water in here. Oh. If ever I come back, I've got some water. And while the rest of that's cooking, let's just go all the way around and make sure we've not missed any loot. So our base is over there, you can see it there, and the dam is all the way down there. And we've just come from over there. Yeah, pretty cool. stuff. Yes, we can. Make some of these. 
good calories. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Cooking. Yay. Every little helps. Okay. Right. I'm pretty happy with that. So I think I am going to drink one and I'm going to read for a little bit and then we're going to sleep here for the rest of the night. So let's have a look at our books. Finish that one. Um, I think we will start on this one. We are not healthy enough. Okay, let's just sleep. And see if we can just cure that. Are we better? You know what? I'm gonna heal it. And then I can at least read for a little bit. Damn it. So hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try that again. So let's drink one of these to help us get some health back, then we'll eat a bit more, and then we'll sleep. And at least, like we say, we've got the can opener now, so we're not going to be losing any calories by smashing them open. bad right okay i think what we're gonna do is i think we're gonna end this episode here when we food. wake up we'll head over to the dam get some metal using our hacksaw get back to our base and then we'll head to fall on muskeg get some coal and start crafting a bow and some arrows so i think we're getting there now so thank you very much for watching everybody so and i will see you next time